Aloha everybody, it's me Doc here for the unofficial Apple weblog, also known as Tua. Today I'm going to show you how to add a partition to an external hard drive that you're already using for data and backup so that you will have a partition to exactly clone your internal hard drive. We're going to achieve this today by using a combination of Dolly Drive and Disk Utility. Now the advantages of having a drive clone is that it is an exact working duplicate copy of the data that exists in your hard drive as it sits. So should you have a catastrophic drive failure or a hiccup in your OS somewhere, you should be able to boot off the clone and get right back to working while you resolve your issue. So drive cloning shouldn't replace your backup strategy, it should be something that you add in addition to your backup strategy. Now. My favorite tool for doing this right now is Dolly Drive, but this also can be done with something like Carbon Copy Cloner or Super Duper. Now let's take a further look at changing your partition on the drive that you have set up so you can now use Dolly Clone as Dolly Drive to clone your internal drive. Let's start by opening up Disk Utility. Once Disk Utility is open, you want to select the hard drive. In this case, I have a 500 gigabyte external hard drive that has a partition on it named Caitlin, but I'm going to select the actual hard drive itself. From here, you're going to need to press the partition button. When you have the partition button open, you'll see it's showing me my current drive and the white space is the free space I have available. This is roughly about 500 gigs. We won't get into drive math. That's a different conversation. The drive that I am attempting to clone is a 128 gigabyte internal Samsung A40 SSD and I'll be cloning it to the extra space on this 500 gigabyte external. You'll see that there's a lot of space left over as the white portion of this diagram and that tells me that's how much free space is left on the drive. In order to add a new partition I'm going to plus, press the plus sign and then you'll see that I now have this extra space. Now it's bigger than I need so all I need to do to adjust that is drag this bar down until I get it to roughly 835 gigabytes or so. Now, even though my drive is only 128, I'm making it 135 gigs just to give it a little padding. It's not necessarily so, but I think it'd be the safest thing to do. So let's go ahead and rename this. So I'm going to call this Dolly Clone. And once you rename it, all you need to do is make sure that you have your partition sizes right. Just double check everything. Once you're pretty sure that's what you want to do, you're just going to go ahead and press apply. Now, after you press apply, it's going to give you a warning. But the cool thing about Mountain Lion, Snow Leopard, and Lion is they will not destroy the partitions that you are using when you go to, say, repartition a drive. Now, if I was to change the number of partitions, instead of using the plus sign, that would wipe them out. In this case, everything is going to be fine. Now, depending on your drive, this should take an hour or so, maybe two. I'll speed up the video to save you from watching paint dry. Once Disk Utility has completed resizing the partition, a pop-up will show up asking you if you would like to use the newly created space for a time machine backup. Instead, we're going to move this out of the way so that we can now, using Dolly Clone feature of Dolly Drive, allow us to clone our internal SSD to the new space just created on our external drive. Let's get cloning. Now all we need to do is press Dolly Clone, select New Clone, and then select the drive I would wish to clone. And then go ahead and say OK, and then select the place I would like to go. Now it looks like I did that backwards, hold on a minute. <laughs> I select the drive I would like to clone, press OK, and then press the place I wanted to go, and then press OK. Now I can say Continue. Once I enter my admin password, we're off to the races. That's it, simple as pie. Now I'll have, in a few minutes, an exact clone of my internal drive that is bootable, functional, and ready to use for my sort of expedient emergency style backup plan. Now, once again, you wanna add a clone to your existing backup plan, not replace a backup plan, but we'll get into that in a different video. Other tools that you can use to do this would be Carbon Copy Cloner or also Super Duper, and I'll put the link to those in the article as well. 
So that has been a quick tip for you from the unofficial Apple web blog. I have been Doc, and once again, if you'd like to send me any questions, comments, or feedback, you can add them in the comment section below, or you can send me an email at doc at tuaw.com. Once again, that's doc at tuaw.com. Don't forget to press subscribe and press like, and we'll see you again soon. To Aloha!